Hey, Gavel here, and I'm going to give you a rundown on one of the best starter ships in Star Citizen. This is the Avenger Titan. So the goal of these videos is just to give you an idea of how these ships perform, what they're like to have day by day, you know, the basic weapon configurations and layouts. I'm not going to give you specific loadouts to put on your ship, I'll leave that up to each person to decide for themselves. Perhaps I'll discuss what I've got in them at the time and give you a bit of a feel uh, for what might work in different scenarios. And standing at a sunset such as this one, it's a very striking ship to look at. The entrance is at the rear and leads into a fairly spacious cargo area. Now this cargo area can carry 8 SCU of cargo, which is really not a lot but it's not bad to get started with and we'll earn you a few thousand credits at a time. It's a great hold and an excellent entrance to bring boxes into and boxes are another great way to get started uh, before you get used to the mechanics such as combat. So in the cargo hold you can see there are a lot of random switches and buttons and knobs and dials and screens and all little bits and pieces which don't currently do anything at all. There'd be component housings, which you currently can't play with or swap out or do anything with. And again, up on the roof, an overhead smoke test doing a seed dump. More switches, some vents, some buttons, and some nice subtle lighting. This door you can hear whizzing open and shut has a handy little step to step up onto. This leads into the crew compartment, or the one-man crew compartment. We have a bunk, we have some more... Um, basically ship component panels I would assume. Uh, more screens, again having a bit of a uh, seed dump from the uh, overhead module smoke test with a bunch of code just scrolling by. Behind here, I'm not really sure. Something electrical from the look of it. Uh, don't stick your hand in there, your hand will be crushed. The bed is great for logging out in, it's one of the comfier looking beds. Uh, you compare this to the Mustang Beta, which I'll do a review of uh, in the very near future, and that's almost just like a, a flat futon couch with no blankets or pillow on it. This, you can imagine yourself sleeping in. It's got some nice little panels. I presume they're going to hold, well, if you look at that, maybe some uh, first aid in the future. Got a temperature control. And that's about it. That leads us through the last door, which just takes us into the cockpit of the Avenger. And because of the bubble canopy, the Avenger has quite a decent view. Quite good for combat, or just generally mucking around and looking at things. Here it is at night, so you can see all of the lights, running lights, you know, some flare, some flashing bits and pieces, some around the cargo door. Again, a really nice looking ship um, that is very nice to fly, quite nice to be in. It's just an excellent, excellent solution for a, a new player. There are a number of MFDs, one central, a large central radar, and one to the left and right, and a traditional HUD. It's a soft blue, which is actually not one of the worst colours. Um, hopefully they'll have hard brightness and uh, maybe the ability to change the color of your HUD in the future because some of the other ones can be trickier for example those that have a yellow HUD uh, find themselves almost blinded to every uh, indicator and, and uh, number and waypoint marker on the HUD when they're flying down to something like Aberdeen which is a yellow planet or uh, excuse me a yellow moon. So I run through some of the flight characteristics of the Avenger Titan it's a stable platform, it's not twitchy, you can see it has a decent roll rate and a decent yaw rate and a decent pitch rate, but it's not something that's uncontrollable, in fact, you always feel in control in the Avenger Titan. Now you can see that the uh, actual heading marker is not lagging too far behind when just doing a uh, sort of a sedate turn at this speed, and, and it does catch up very quickly if you after burn it back into place, of course you can overheat your systems when you're doing that.
So I'm just going to do a really quick flight down around the deck just so you can see how it performs down low. Um, having the ground is a really good indicator for how fast we're going and, uh, and how manoeuvrable we are. So you can see that, even though I'm no stunt pilot, the Avenger is a stable platform, one that's easy to keep under control, one that's fairly easy to keep your uh, your actual vector under control. It's not uh, sliding and flying all over the place, um, and it's not too twitchy to keep in one place as you need it. So. Overall, as a flying platform, as a cargo runner, as a package runner, as a combat ship, it's pretty much the complete package, certainly for the price, and if you're starting out in space, uh, in Star Citizen, you really can't go wrong. So that's my review for the Avenger Titan. Just a quick look at the ship, how it performs, and it's just my vague personal thoughts on how it can perform, especially in combat and as a starter ship. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comments below, and I'm only too happy to answer them. So, until next time, I might see you around the verse.